going on, when Harry's not trying to escape from fame, he's buying into it. What with all the awards and pats on the back, it starts to build up in his head. It doesn't help when a prophecy names him. Ooh, that's, that's heavy stuff. Harry starts to believe he's invincible. And maybe he's right, I don't know. Nonetheless, he starts to take unnecessary risks. And he often involves his friends and fellow students. And, and it's, it's really reckless. And just watch, okay? <laughs> That was a great backflip demonstration, Harry, but now we've missed the train. School's going to start without us. Oh no! Now we can't eat the wizard treats and sing about it! <laughs> Look guys, stop whining. School ain't gonna start until I tell it to. Do you want to know why? Um, why, Hermione? I, I don't know, Ron. <laughs> because I stole a car! Get in, everybody! Oh, okay, Harry. Which seat can I take? Shut up and get in. Come on. Come on, hurry up. All right, Hermione, make us fly. Toyota Leviosa. <laughs> yes, I'm so rad. This is how a real man gets to school. Turn on the radio, Hermione. All right, it's my favorite song. Turn it up. Yeah. My name is Harry Potter, I'm the king of the car Flying with my two best friends in a car I beat up somebody and I stole their car Harry Potter and the flying car Harry Potter, Harry Potter Do the shooby doo ups Yes! Well, I can fix the problem I defeated Voldemort, it's no problem I've got a solution for every problem I have also got a flying car Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter That's me! Oh my god! We made it! Everyone get out of the car! Um, um, okay. Alright, what do we do? Okay, Ron, you go take a hole in the Forbidden Forest. Okay, Harry! Hermione, drag Hagrid over to the hole. I'll take care of Hagrid. I mean, I'll take care of the car. Harry, I, I think Hagrid's okay. He's snoring. <laughs> we need to change our names. I'll be Larry, Ron will be John, you'll be Horatio. We'll start a new life. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I must have dozed off a moment drinking. Uh, Harry, Ron, Horatio, what, what are you doing out here? Get back into Hogwarts. Five points to Griffin Red. Yay! Okay, everyone, get back in the car. It's a it's a thirty second walk from here, Harry. Oh, fine. I'll just go by myself. Enjoy being alone together, you two dove birds. <laughs> My name is Hermione, and I am the best. Yes, I'm unpleasant and whiny. But I ace every test And though I'm committed To honing my IQ My friends are dim-witted And I only have the two My name is Ron Weasley And I'm also the best I cry rather easily That you're my only option But if you are, I'm stressing that we settle for adoption <laughs> My genes shall not be treated by your ugly ginger face Nor shall we be acquainted any further than first base Ooh, what's first base? Eye contact Ooh, sexy, Hermione, you're so lovely. I quiver and I shake. Eee! 
I wish the rest of you would turn to soot. You're not that hot, Hermione. Let's be realistic. <laughs> I'm really thirsty for some reason. <laughs> With Harry's madness, he's totally oblivious to his surroundings. His two best friends are clearly in love, and he has absolutely no thoughts on the matter because it doesn't have anything to do with him. Now, everyone's always telling Harry what a great man his father was. The man fought Voldemort, he was great at Quidditch, he used to beat up Snape, just an overall great guy built up to mythical proportions in Harry's mind. So Harry tries to make the biggest name for himself possible, and all the while, he's bouncing from surrogate to surrogate. The problem is, there's only two kinds of dads in Harry's life. Fathers that die, and fathers that suck. James Potter, right off the bat, dies. Uncle Vernon, very clearly, sucks. Hagrid, sucks. Now, don't get me wrong, as an animal hoarding, shack based uncle, he's great. But his fatherly duties don't seem to extend past taking Harry to the mall once. So, Dumbledore, he dies. I mean, he's wise, he's caring, a little distant, but, you know, overall he's great, so, blam, you know? Snape, he sucks, and as soon as he doesn't suck, he dies. Lupin, um, dies, and gets fired, and is a wolf. Also, he dies. Sirius Black super dies. What was that? I mean, the guy was a, I mean, he was a cool dad, an even cooler uncle, and he was a dog all in one, so that's not gonna last. Mr. Weasley, he sucked. I mean, he's an okay guy, but he's stretched pretty thin between his, what, 18 biological kids? Not a good dad replacement for Harry. Slughorn, eh, just whatever. Voldemort, the shadow father. Now, I know what you're saying, sucks, and he stinks, whatever. But think about this. Who else has been there as long, as long for Harry? Who else has stuck around? Who else has fought as long and hard for custody? <laughs> One thing is for sure, he's slowly picking off the competition. Being fatherly towards Harry Potter is like swallowing poison. You just don't do it if you want to live. And nobody realized this more than Dumbledore. Harry remembers his last encounter with the headmaster. Where are we going? Into a cave of pure evil. Bet you wish you wore your flip-flops now, eh? Well, whatever. I'm hungry. Can you magic me a sandwich? Sadly not. I thought you were a great wizard or something. We have a mission, Harry. A very special locket resides in this cave. We must get it. You brought me here for jewelry? I don't get this adventure, Dumbledore. Listen, Harry. Voldemort has set up the Easter egg hunt from hell, and the prizes are chunks of his soul. They're called soul chunks. I mean horcruxes. They're of the utmost importance. If we can destroy all seven of Voldemort's special soul chunks, he'll get really embarrassed and leave us alone forever. Oh, I get it. So the cave is a horcrux. No, the locket is. What locket? Oh, right, the one you mentioned before. Okay. Oh dear. This is dark magic. What's in it? At the bottom lies the Horcrux. I thought we were looking for a locket. Listen, Harry. In order to break this hex and get the Horcrux, I'm afraid I'm going to have to bob for apples. No matter what I say, don't let me stop. Even if I beg you to kill me, even if I beg you to put a bullet in my head, I must keep bobbing until my decrepit old body is filled to the brim with shiny red apples. Harry, do you understand? Got it. Okay, here I go. Okay, yeah, you do that, Dumbledore. You're great. I'm gonna check my Gmail. Uh. <sighs> well, that wasn't so hard. Oh, cool. Where's the locket? Alas! Pretty sure I swallowed it. 
should turn up in the next few days. Well, that's just nasty. <laughs> now we must leave Harry, and quickly, before... It's the Inferi! Oh, shit! What are the Inferi? Are you really asking me questions now, Harry? Let's book it! Oh, no! Oh, no! They've got us! Use your magic, Harry! I don't know any spells to fight this! The spell of love! <laughs> love? What's love got to do with it? Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? Find the darkness with positivity! Think about people you love, Harry! Okay, I'm thinking about Ginny, and I'm also thinking about Vin Diesel, and I'm not sure why. Okay, now Vin Diesel is making out with Ginny, and I'm watching, and I'm strangely okay with it. Okay, now Ginny is Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and it's just Fast Five, and it's great. It's working, Harry! Wow, I can't believe that worked. Of course it worked! What have I always told you? Um, some nonsense about love? Listen to me, Harry! With, without the spell of love, the world would fall apart. You don't need a wand with magic in your heart. All your other organs are worth these bits of flair, my friends. They're useless in comparison to love. With love, you can sing of the joy that it can bring. With love, you can fly on the rainbow in the sky. With love, you can dance without any pants on. You're right, Dumbledore. You're naked but right. <laughs> and you can put that on my tombstone, boy. <laughs> oh, that's silly, Dumbledore. That's crazy talk. <laughs> now, Dumbledore... Hey, get back here. Dumbledore was a great, te uh, great teacher, a powerful wizard, a caring friend, and a true hero but a terrible administrator. Let's just face it, every year, at least one major security breach occurred in his school, often endangering children and creating a terrifying environment. Harry himself is present for nearly all of the trauma, you can go now, and will never forget the day of the most chilling attack on the school.